Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another charging site review. I'm going to have to do a, another one of my sort of gorilla charging site reviews right now, uh, just sort of freehand it. Uh, unfortunately, I, I, I needed to use the bathroom and I went into the uh, gas station and their bathroom was out of order so I ended up having to walk all the way to the grocery store uh, to, to use the bathroom and uh, well, now we went from 9% to 30% <laughs> before I was even able to start my uh, charging site review. So anyway, we're in Newark, California, and this is another one of the GM-funded uh, EVgo Ultium Ready sites. Uh, I wanted to check it out. This is only a four-charger site. The last one I checked out in Santa Rosa was a six charger site so this is a little bit smaller in scale uh, but it's still a fun nice little site um, i'm glad to have it here uh, and uh, yeah let's just uh, look at some of the chargers and i, I want to talk about a couple of things before i do the rest of the site scoring uh, but then we can jump right into the site score as well <coughs> So I'm using uh, the Signet charger right now uh, because I was originally going to use the Delta charger because I wanted to check it out. Uh, but if you're a longtime EVgo member who uses RFID cards, uh, what can you tell me about this, right? If you go over here, there's a very clear RFID reader on the Signet unit. But you go over here, I couldn't find one. I I tried my card on the center, it wasn't working. Now the display says use the app or use an RFID card. Well, um, I can't find an RFID reader anywhere on this. And so while I was going to use the Delta, I wasn't going to break out my app, sign in, all of that. I, you know, I'm kind of on a time crunch this trip, so I'm not going to try to fiddle with a charger just to get to use it. Now. This is a 100 uh, kilowatt, a 200 amp charger, so it will max out my Bolt EV, so it's not an issue of speed. Either one of these will be equally fast for my car, Hyundai Kona Electric, Kia Niro EV, any of those. Uh, so there's really no need to use a 350 kilowatt over the 100 kilowatt. Uh, but if you can't get it started, right, then what's the point? So I'm just gonna use this one right now. Um, and uh, the other thing is there's, Actually, there have been two issues with this Signet charger. One, uh, the charge just abruptly stopped after 15 minutes uh, and 29%. I'm not sure exactly why that was, uh, but it did. And so I just restarted it, no problem. Um, but then the other thing is, uh, and this is something that I think needs to be addressed, and it's not just EVgo. Uh, I, I noted that there's actually an Electrify America site over there as well. Uh, using uh, basically a similar model of Signet charger. These Signet chargers took forever to activate and that is not a good thing, right? You don't, you don't want to have a minute or a minute and a half to activate a charger, even if it's plug-in charge. That's not good, right? It, some people remember when I used a ChargePoint Express in King City, uh, it started up just like literally 10, 15 seconds max, about the same amount of time that it takes to start a level two AC charger in your own garage. So this, the fact that this took as long as it did to activate with my car is a real problem. It's something that EV, EVgo needs to fix and it, it's something that uh, Electrify America is gonna need to fix as well. You can't have minute to minute and a half charger activation times. It's just uh, not acceptable for a uh, you know public charging site, a DC fast charger. Now, uh, that being said, uh, let's just jump right into a site score because I think this is actually a really nice site. And a lot of these uh, metrics, even though I, I have not reviewed this other site, this other uh, Electrify America site here as well, uh, I'll, I'll have to use it at some point and, and review it also. But, uh, but yeah, let's just jump right in because a lot of these uh, numbers are going to match up as well. So uh, let's start with amenities. I'm really, really impressed. So outside of outside of just a basic covering, right? This is in the, in a, I guess they call it Ballantine Plaza. There's a shopping mart, like a food, uh, uh, a grocery store. 
but there's a lot of different services. There's restaurants, there's like a pizzeria. I think there's a sandwich shop or something on the other side, a donut shop. And then there's a gas station right here. So basically all of your services that you would want from a charging site are, are really met. So uh, this is very easily nine out of 10 for amenities. And I realized I screwed up the ordering, so we should also talk about access. Now, again, no full pull-through parking. That's a big problem. This site um, is a mixed-use site, but it's close enough to 880 that it can also be used as a travel site. And uh, having no full pull-through parking, that's a big problem. Um, at one point off for this mixed use site in that regard. Uh, but then the other thing is, uh, you know, this was actually fairly hard for me to get to or difficult for me to get to. Now I would normally dock a point off of that, but I think this was more me than this charging site. And when I say that is I had to go out of my way on this trip by about four to five miles to get here. So I can't blame the site for basically my requirements, right? I wasn't traveling down 880, I was traveling down 680. So in that regard, it was a more difficult site for me to get to than one that I would typically use or I would prioritize higher. Uh, but I'm not gonna blame the charging site for that. So it's gonna get a nine out of 10 for access as well. Now for site concentration, there are only four chargers here. Um, again, I, I consider that now to be sort of the bare bare minimum, if you will, or the, the bare minimum average. Uh, so it's, it's a five out of 10 for site concentration. And I mentioned this before, but these Delta units can split power. They, they built in have functionality for simultaneously uh, charging two vehicles. And so again, the same rules apply though for this site. Had EVGO provided uh, two uh, spaces for each Delta charger, I would have actually counted those uh, twice, right? So it would have been the equivalent of a six charger site, at which point this would have scored one point higher. But since this is only accessible by four vehicles at a time, uh, it's only getting a five out of 10 for site concentration. Now for location importance, uh, Again, this is, this is kind of like the Santa Rosa charger. Uh, this is a little less important, right? You have a lot of other chargers nearby. Again, I, I noted that there's an EV, uh, Electrify America charger uh, in the same exact parking facility. So um, yeah, it's not, it's not like these are crucial chargers in that they're not serving an underserved area. However, that being said, I ran out of fingers and toes to count plug-in electric vehicles as I was you know, driving here from the freeway. This is a very high EV population count uh, in, in this area. Uh, and also you notice there are a lot of apartment buildings here, people who maybe can't charge at home, maybe condos, maybe townhomes, that sort of thing. Uh, so this does serve a need in that regard. Uh, and so it's getting an eight out of 10 for location. And then finally for speed, just like with uh, Electrify America, this is a 10 out of 10 uh, for charging speed. Nothing charges faster than a 350 kilowatt CCS charger right now. These are Ultium ready, 350 kilowatt EVs. Uh, can, can come to this location with pretty good confidence because two 350 kilowatt chargers here, uh, and then uh, there should be two 350 kilowatt chargers at the Electrify America charging site. Now, I, I know some people have pushed back and said, well, uh, technically, you know, uh, Tesla should be counted higher, or if a Tesla were using it, they could only charge at 180 kilowatts with an adapter. Uh, but again, I focus my, my scoring based on, you know, what does this charger have control over? And it doesn't have control over the fact that Tesla chose to use a different standard, right? And so in that regard, uh, I'm not gonna penalize a faster charger because a particular auto brand focused on current over voltage. So yes, it's true that this can only support about 300 and I think it's about 375 amps when it's running at uh, the 920 volt standard. And 
but the, the thing is that's still 350 kilowatts right and, and nothing else is faster than that and if you are a 400 volt architecture like a Tesla you can get up to 500 amps that's why it's 180 kilowatts uh, for something that's charging at 500 amps and say 360 to 370 volts so um, yeah hands down 10 out of 10 uh, no questions asked all right, so again with this uh, gorilla site review, I'm gonna have to uh, tally everything up in my head. So we had a nine out of 10 for access, a nine out of 10 for amenities, we're up to 18. Only a five out of 10 uh, for site concentration, so that's 23. And then for location, I still gave it an eight, so that's 31. And then again for speed, it's a 10 out of 10, so it's a 41. So this is actually scoring, uh, so this is actually scoring a, this would score better if someone would get off their horn, but this is actually scoring uh, the same as the Santa Rosa charger. And the reason for that is because I, I think the amenities here uh, pushed it higher and the access here uh, pushed it higher because you're not in as busy of a uh, parking facility as you would be uh, over there in that uh, um, Santa Rosa area. So it's uh, still, either way, it would be a B, 41 out of 50, uh, just a, a strong showing from EVgo and one more of these Ultium Ready charging sites, uh, GM funded Ultium Ready uh, charging sites. There are some things obviously I'd like to see them fix. Uh, maybe uh, make a clear RFID reader on the Delta units because I, I didn't see one on there. And then really fix the activation times for these Signet charging chargers uh, because they really need to work on that. Uh, but anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. What have your experiences been uh, with these EVgo charging sites, these higher powered EVgo charging sites? Uh, where would you like to see EVgo uh, put some of these GM funded 350 kilowatt charging sites in? Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and thank you for watching.